Hey, New Life, how's it going? I uh, just wanted to bring you a quick devotional in the midst of this uh, pandemic. I want to bring you a quick devotional on fear because honestly, the most contagious virus that we have in the world today is fear itself. Now, a few of you have, have heard this story. A few of you at Linton Hall have heard this story. But um, So a few months ago, Beth and I were taking something back to Walmart. And we had no intentions of buying anything. We were just going to take it back. We didn't want to spend money, right? Because like somehow Walmart has that effect on people. You go to buy one thing and the next thing you know, you're walking out like $200 deep and just dumb stuff that you don't even need. Not that I've ever done that before, but I mean, I do have a Chewbacca onesie pajama outfit that I really thought I needed at the time. But anyway, I digress. So we were taking stuff back. And I am a firm believer that Walmart has some sort of like black magic or like some sort of mind control device that they use on people because we had taken the item back and then like we just kind of blacked out. And like when I'm coming to and I'm waking up, I'm in the back of the store with my arms just full of stuff that I don't really need. And I'm, and I'm standing there looking at more stuff that I don't need. Now, um, have, I don't know if you guys have seen this, but like... Uh, you guys ever seen these robots that they that they use inventory robots at Walmart? Well, I had not seen these robots, and so I'm standing there looking at stuff, and like out of the corner of my eye, I see some movement, and I, I turn and I look, and like there's this six foot robot, and it's coming right at me, and I had no idea what it was, and I like I like drop this stuff out of my arms, and I turn and I square up, and like. You guys, I'm not kidding, like fight or flight is kicking in. Like I am immediately just terrified. Like I have no idea what this thing is and I have to make like a split second decision. Am I gonna run down the aisle away from this thing or am I gonna turn and am I gonna fight this thing? And like, there's so much fear in my head. Like my brain just shuts down. Like my frontal lobe is gone and I am like living in the reptilian brain, right? And All that I can think is this thing came up on me so quick, there's no way I can run from it, so I gotta turn in, I gotta fight this robot, right? And I'm squared up, I'm ready to like start destroying Walmart property because I don't know what this thing is. And then all of a sudden another guy comes around the corner and he sees the fear in my eyes. And now, I I don't know if this guy knew what the robot was or not, but when he sees my fear, like this guy gets afraid. And he doesn't know what it is either. And like all this is happening like so fast, right? But this dude's like squared up and I see him like step away from his cart and he's like ready to fight the robot with me. And like we are going to destroy this thing. Like we are going to like commit probably a misdemeanor. I don't think that's a felony unless it's some, but we're going to, we're going to commit a crime together as we beat the crap out of this robot, right? But before we commence to beating this robot, these two little kids come walking by. And the only thing I can think in my head is like, kids know technology and this thing is technology so I wonder if the kids know what it is and so I'm like hey you guys hey kids do you guys know what this thing is and these kids were like yeah it's a little robot it's it's here to talk to you it's here to play with you and so these kids come up and they start poking it and they're like if you tell it what to do it'll do it now they were wrong they it it wasn't actually a robot made to talk to you and play with you although that would be kind of neat it it was an inventory robot right however those kids They had no fear. They weren't afraid of the robot. And their fearlessness and ability to walk up and just talk to this robot without fear, that was the cure for me and this other grown man. That was the cure for our fear. And just like that, my fear, like, it was gone. I no longer wanted to beat the robot. Senseless. Now I thought it was kind of funny, right? So 1 John 4.18 says, there is no fear in love. Perfect love drives out fear. You guys, fear is the most contagious virus that we have today. Yeah, we've got a really bad, a real virus that's, that's floating around the world right now, and we need to be aware of it. But we don't need to be afraid of it. What we need to do is be aware and love other people, perfectly love other people. And most of the time, staying home and not transmitting the virus is how we love. However, we need to obey the Spirit. And sometimes 
we will be called to go out and, and put ourselves at risk in order to love other people. But that's not our decision. Our decision is to listen to the Spirit, obey Him, and fearlessly do whatever the Holy Spirit calls us to do. So you guys, here's my little application for you. There's a lot of people who are out of work right now who aren't getting paychecks. And that's a big fear for a lot of people. My application is pray over those people. And each one of us can find someone and informally adopt them as the one we're going to love. And we're going to carry their burdens. Galatians 6.2 says, carry one another's burdens and so, so, so show yourselves to be my disciples. Well, when we informally adopt someone who's going through a hard time, as a whole, we can take care of them. Maybe you're one of those people who's out of work and you don't have any money. Well, you've got faith, right? So you can adopt someone else as well who's going through the hard time. And you guys can link up arms. And together, you can carry one another's burdens. This is the time, guys. Perfect love casts out all fear. We need to march through this pandemic fearlessly, following the Lord, obeying Him, and doing what He calls us to do. Amen.